you played two games close in the ACC tournament. One went your way, one didn't. What do you feel like you learned about this team here? I feel like uh, we, we lost to a team that played extremely well. A team that shot the ball exceptionally well, as well as any team that uh, that we played against all year long. That's kind of what Notre Dame does. They did a much better job executing the offense. And they hit some really, really tough threes that were highly, that were very, very well contested. And there were some things that we turned the ball over quite a bit. I thought we forced some things. Uh, I thought that in, in this tournament, there were times when I thought that we didn't play with the confidence that I think we're capable of. But in each game, the second half, we made adjustments at halftime. I thought we came back out and played two good second halves. And, and uh, we played a good second half at night. I, our intentions were to be as aggressive at the beginning of the game as we were in the second half. Somehow, no, we just didn't quite get that done mentally, but that's part of the growing and maturing process. I feel good about our team as we move toward the NCAA tournament. Uh, I think we're going to be uh, a tough out for anybody. I think we, the quality of our depth, and I think we've grown up a lot. Uh, I think we've learned from a lot of our mistakes, and we're excited about where we are now as we move toward now going prepare for the NCAA tournament. It's tough for they to defend when they've got Bonzi down low and other guys who can shoot the way they They're a good basketball team. I mean, that's, that's life in the ACC. And, and sometimes it's not as much about what we didn't do. It's got to give people credit for what they do, what they did. I mean, this is an outstanding team that shoots the ball as well as any team in America. And uh, tonight they were exceptionally hot. And defensively, it wasn't like we weren't working hard. Uh, they moved the ball around and executed their offense to perfection, to perfection. And they knocked down some shots that we just couldn't get to. And on the offensive end, I thought maybe, I think it discouraged a little bit. The second half, I thought we came back and played, uh, showed who we are and put ourselves in a position where we had a chance. We probably need about three or four more minutes, but we came up short, and you got to give them credit for how, how good a job they, how well did they execute that and play to themselves tonight. How frustrating can it be sometimes as a coach when your guys are contesting shots and they're just making them? Well, I don't think frustration is the right word. I think sometimes you just got to give people credit for what they do. They are a good shooter, good shooting team. And they have good shooters. And regardless of, of how well you can test shots, sometimes good players will will make good shots even when you're playing good defense. That's the nature of, of, uh, of college basketball. Coach, it seemed like you guys were not getting any calls tonight. Your frustration <laughs> with officiating tonight. Well, hey, you know, you guys saw the same game I saw. You know, so if, for whatever reason, uh, the game was officiated the way it was. And, I have to go back now and look at the films, and then we'll evaluate that. But that, this game's over. For me to be crying about the officiating would be disrespectful to Notre Dame. I thought they did this a little bit better job. They deserved to win the game tonight. And also, Coach, you've been here so many times. What do you tell a team after a conference tournament, knowing the next time you lose, that's it for the year? We're not going to tell them anything other than what we tell them all the time. Let's go out and prepare ourselves and go out and do the very best we can. Let's see what happens. Brian, 17 points in the second half, 10 in a row. At, at what point? What were, your, what were your impressions on the way he played? Well, he, we know he's capable, but it takes sometimes junior college players a little longer to adjust uh, to this level of basketball. Uh, that's why he plays, and he gets plenty of minutes. I'm not surprised, but uh, I am pleased that he showed a tremendous amount of character when we were down. Uh, he gave us great leadership, and he and he uh, played great defense. And, gave us tremendous energy and knocked down shots, and we, we think his future is very bright at Florida State. For some of the guys who've been in this program for a long time, like Ojo, Jarquez, XRM, how happy are you for them that they finally get to experience the NCAA tournament? Well, uh, there's no doubt that this is uh, uh, something that they've been looking forward to. Now what we have to do is go out and perform well in it. All right, thank you, fellas.